everybody, it's Leanne from Stampa Latte. I'm here today to show you these sweet cards I've made with the Special Reason stamp set and the Stylish Stems Framelit dies, which you can buy the two in a bundle and save yourself 10%. Okay, so they're basically the same card. This one I've got the ribbon going across the bottom. Okay, and I've just got Wishing You a Beautiful Day, which is also from the stamp set. This one I've got the ribbon just going down the side, just so it sort of sits underneath the flower. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I got the two tones in my flowers and how to do these pieces behind. Okay, so let's get started. So to do our colouring on our flowers, to get our flowers the two tones, we are going to use our daubers today. On this card here, I've inked up the whole stamp in the So Saffron and then I've just used my dauber and the Peekaboo Peach in the middle. Today I'm going to use the Saffron again for my flower, but I'm going to do the centre of my flower in the Crushed Curry. Okay. So ink that up. Saffron. Okay, so we just ink that up and then we're just going to dab our dauber into the crushed curry. And then we're just going to dab, put our dauber into the crushed curry. And then I'm just going to just lightly sponge around the middle and out a little bit. I might do a little bit more in the middle so it's more intense there. Hopefully when we stamp it all out. Okay, so let's stamp this one. Okay, see how you've got the colour in the middle. Now I'm going to do this one again. I'll ink that up in the saffron and instead of doing the inside, oops, sorry. Now this time instead of doing the inside of the flower, I'm going to go around the edge of the petals just for a different look. If you can turn your stamp onto an angle you can actually see, I don't know if you can see that there, but you can actually see where I've daubed. I might do a little bit on these tips here too. Okay. And then we'll just stamp that one down. Okay, so there's your two different looks of your flowers. So you've got the lighter in the middle there going out and you've got the darker around the petals. And this one here, you've got the light flower with the color in the center. Okay, so the next thing we want to do for this card here, we've cut out our flowers here and then we've got a piece behind which we've daubed. Okay, so here's my cutout piece. All right, and here are my two squares that I'm going to dauber and then I'm going to strategically place it behind the cut out flower. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do the centre of our flower so we're just going to ink up our dauber in the so saffron. A nice centre. Okay now just push it and roll it sort of around on the spot. You can even twist it to get some more colour onto your piece. So one of our flowers we're going to do in the sweet sugar plum. So we'll just take that out. Get our sweet sugar plum dauber. Ink that up. Now with dark ink pads like this you want to just bounce it down on your paper first just to take off any excess ink and then you're going to Run this around. Oh, it's not supposed to move like that. Run this around. And just leave a bit of yellow in the center. So 
So you can see here I didn't dab that off, so you've got that great big dot there. So just colour in the whole square and then you've got room to move it around. Just going to go around the centre. Okay, so that's the sweet sugar. So the other one I'm going to do is Flirty Flamingo. And then again, remember, just colour in the whole square. Doesn't matter if it looks blotchy because it's going to be behind your card anyway. So, okay. So there's your two squares, and there's the um, and there's your panel for your front card. So all you're going to do now is you're just going to place. your pieces behind your flowers okay now it doesn't matter if you get a bit of hanging over the edge like that because we can just trim that off now the best way I have found oops moved. okay so we're just going to turn our cards upside down I'm going to bring in our Tombow glue I'm just going to do little dots around the flowers. This will hold your squares in place and you don't need a lot of glue. The thing about Tombow, less is actually more. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to do the purple one up the top. Turn that back over, do dots around this one. And then turn it over to place. Okay, so then before we assemble our card, I just want to trim that edge off there. And you just do it on an angle, get your scissors underneath the edge there so you won't see it. Now I've got another tip for you when you're cutting your flowers out with your fragments. If you look at your stamp and you see the shorter petals, see how these are longer here? These are shorter on this side. That is the flat side of your frame. So you can just pop that down like that and run it through your big shot. So now all I have to do, I've cut my flower out, so that's just going to sort of sit over the flowers like that. And I just have to stamp my leaves and my sentiment and put the card together. So I'll just do that quickly. Try to draw outside the line Let us see inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying is you can do it I want to hear you say Require every 
Run with what is in your heart Let the magic start You're in charge Yes you can What's the plan? Come on let's do this and do it now I wanna hear you shout I am independent I am dedicated Doing it my way Doing it my way So there's your card done It's all ready to go and give to person who want you want to have a beautiful day okay so that's it for today thanks for stopping by hey if you want to play make it about a play